What is going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. Back in Wreckfest once again here, trying to conquer the beast. We're back at Hilltop Stadium for McQueen Madness Part 2. As you can see, we've got our McQueen skin. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to texture that glass so he'll get some eyeballs. Maybe I can just Photoshop them on there for now. But uh, one of these days, I'm going to have to figure that out so he's not so blind. But as you can see, we have the car. And we're back for the most... I mean, so many of you guys requested a Part 2 to that. So that's what we're here to do today. We're going to jump right into this because I'm sure it's going to take us a, a, a few tries. It, it took me a lot of tries the other night when I tried it. And it's mostly because of things like that right there. Just getting dumped right off the start. And that just puts you way in the back. Luckily, somebody else got spun around with us. So we aren't completely dead last, but we're pretty close. So we're just going to keep it on moving here. Sliding it through the corners. This thing is very slidey. And there's all kinds of trouble in front of us. And I'm just going to send that guy on the right of his life. That poor 68 car just went on a ride, and then we actually snuck through a guy who was spinning there, so we're all right, so. I actually messed with the adjustments on this car, so you can actually, oh man, this thing's still slidey though. Oh, and I kick it right into the tire barrier there. But uh, man, this thing is slidey, and I even made some adjustments to try and kind of tighten this thing up a little bit, because uh, the game does allow you to actually adjust your cars. I'd never really messed with it too much before, but uh, you can do it, so I'm hoping that those will help us, although it still seems like we wheel spin like crazy. I even took some of the power out of the thing, some of the top speed. Um, but, you know, it's still pretty slidey, as you can see. So we're making our way up. We're up to 15th with that move, although we're getting challenged for it now by, uh, who's that, Glenn Roberts on our outside. And I'm going to sneak up the inside. That's Jody Ridley in that 68 car. Isn't that the car I made spin out? He must be a lap down. I flipped this guy over. On the opening lap here right as we right at the end of this straightaway here and man glenn roberts is really trying to get by me but he won't somebody had a big problem in that intersection and then i completely missed the corner there and tried to get a little too much there on corner entry and i'm gonna pay for it and i'm gonna go back to 19th which is a bad time had by me and all at the same time so uh the aggression is picking up here in front of us as there's more cars and we're gonna slide another one and that's gonna be me going around Again, and then hitting nailed on the way back around trying to pull out in front of somebody which is a mistake And I just hit another McQueen. Apparently there's multiple McQueens. I saw that one earlier, but uh, Kind of forgot about it and then I just T-bone them in the intersection. So why not? I'm gonna get run into the back of that's cool. That's great. That's neat. That's grand. Thank you very much Oh wonderful. Just drive up on top of me and shove me in the wall head first This is fantastic. I'm amazed. I didn't get just creamed right there because it was looking like I was going to I've learned from experience on this one. You wouldn't know by looking at my driving, but, uh, oh, that's fantastic. And there goes a the wheel. There goes a the wheel. That's great. And I just pulled up into traffic, didn't I? And that's payback right there. That was Jody Ridley. I sent him flipping earlier, and he comes back, and he takes me out of the race and returns. So there's attempt number one. Once again, we failed. We'll go ahead, and we'll restart it again here. All right, getting ready for attempt number two. This took me so many tries the other day. I had to cut it into a compilation. Um, and there were even some attempts as I get dumped right off the start again and just nailed and punched in the mouth. And that's Benny Parsons in that car now after the, after we went back to the menu screen, but whatever. As I was saying, we were in a, we, were, we had so many attempts of this that failed when I was making that video, uh, the part one of McQueen Madness, that, uh, I had to cut it up into a compilation because there was literally so many failed attempts and wrecks. Probably the most that I've ever done in Wreckfest is somebody's gone for one heck of a ride and then that little CRX style car tried to dump me, but he just did not have the mass to do it. He did not have it. So, uh, yeah, but that, that thing turned into a compilation. It wasn't meant to be like that. And there were even some attempts that were just, uh, you know, got cut out because they weren't even, you know, good enough to make it into that. So, which is how much of a highlight reel that was. And speaking of highlight reels, I don't know how we just made it through that. That was that was about as lucky as we're going to get. And then I almost spin myself out in the turn down the straightaway up into 14th now, which is not where we want to be. If we could get a clean start on these races, I think we'd have a pretty good shot. But, you know, then you got to factor in the luck of the intersection and everything and not doing that because I've done that quite a few times where you hit the barrels on the pit entry or, or corner entry and somebody's gone for a huge flip right there at the end of the straightaway. Not sure who that was, but that gives us a nice little handful of spots right there. And then we've got a pack of cars right here. Racing with each other nose to tail, so we're going to take it inside here. There's my old buddy Jody Ridley. Okay, so that is Jody Ridley. 
So why is it? Why, all right, so there's two cars that are the same then. Because that Jody Ridley one, if Benny Parsons is... What are you doing? Oh my God, Ron Bouchard, what in the world was that? Ron Bouchard tried to win the race right there and it did not work out for him. Uh, yeah, making a pass for 10th and you kill yourself by turning the wrong direction into the corner. Yeah, that's a that's a winning game plan right there if I've ever seen one. Congratulations to you, Jody. How many times? That's not even the first time that Jody Ridley has destroyed himself on our on our videos, I don't think. I think he man, he's he's becoming a regular customer of that. We're up into the top 10 now barely by the hair on my chinny chin chin. I'm in here in the top 10 and man, these guys slowed down way way really way too much. Going into that corner, sign to let off a bit. Got Bobby Hillen Jr. here. David Pearson. Oh, that's a big hit for Pearson right there into the wall. And that gives us another couple of free spots here. So we're not looking terrible. We're about 11 seconds back off a of dick trickle. The man himself, the White Knight. And he is leading this thing. Man, we, we see Dick Trickle. He's up front in these things a lot. And I just dumped that guy on the straightaway. Wasn't even trying to. And then... That's going to cost us a couple more spots and a good bit of damage as well. We actually didn't get out of that too bad, but lost some spots again and lost time. Now we're back almost 14 seconds. Reminded me of that core race we did the other night at the Roval, and it just... Oh, can I sneak through this without getting hurt? I did. Look, we got three McQueen cars in a row. So unfortunately, when I run this car, obviously it shows up on the, uh, on the AI cars as well. So there's multiple different ones. Uh, for different cars and that way to just slam the brakes into the corner as I was saying yeah you get those duplicates from time to time it's not much you can do about it, it doesn't bother me hopefully it doesn't bother you guys but it is kind of funny that you get like McQueen on McQueen violence I know you guys that like the cars videos I'm sure you don't mind as long as somebody's getting destroyed I'm sure it's uh, it's all good clean and green and I'm just going to dirt track it, sliding it through the corner. There you go. We're up to six somehow. I didn't feel like I did anything. That is about as close as you're going to get to a perfect intersection. Greg Sachs here in front of us just absolutely threaded the needle there. And we've lost this race, unfortunately. We are going to come home. Uh, Dick Trickle wins that race. Oh, can we sneak by for a spot? Here we do. And we absolutely pile drive. Oh, my God. And up in the air with the dive bomb move there right at the end. So we're going to get fifth. But that's not good enough for us, so you know the deal. We're going to go ahead and start this one up again. All right, attempt number three here. We at least finished the race. We did finish in the top five, but that is not good enough for me. And look at that. We actually got a clean start for once. I did kind of try to slow it down and take it towards the inside, and that seems to have worked quite nicely, actually. And then Jimmy Johnson just going to cut across me. And there goes all that progress I was just celebrating. It's now gone, so... Thank you, Mr. Jimmy Johnson. You have screwed me once again, and then there's the tire barrier uh, that I, uh, I absolutely love that just sits there just to taunt me and knows that I'll run into it because I have no talent. We're just going to keep it moving here. There's cars, and that's, that's fantastic to just door slam that guy. Thought maybe I could get through. What in the world? Oh, I hit that thing where your camera goes. If you press down on one of the controller sticks, your camera, like, dislocates from the car. So, uh, luckily, a quick press of that again will fix it. And then there's a wagon directly into the wall. Poor guy. You know, I've been calling that thing a war. Whoa, no, that is a major impact in the intersection. And finally, we come out on the right side of one of those things. We didn't actually get hurt too badly there. Oh, but he's going to bump us from behind, man. And we're back in 17th. That really sucks. And that's a problem right there. I thought I might squeak by that car. And man, he's getting absolutely nailed right now, and I'm getting nailed trying to turn this thing around by David Pearson. But uh, yeah, I've been calling that one wagon a war wagon, and that's not even the war wagon, so that's that's my mistake. I'm sure somebody probably picked up on that error at, at, at some point. Oh, that was close. That's a light flash before your eyes moment right there. But we're all right. We got Donnie Allison limping it up here. That's going to be a nice spot we can pick up, and... Was that Jimmy Johnson with the dive bomb of the century? That was unbelievable. Oh, that's a car! That's that same orange... I didn't even think... I thought that was, like, debris that was sitting there. That was literally somebody's entire car. 
That is an amazing brain fart right there. I that, that literally I thought that was like some sheet metal just laying in the street. And that was literally just a carcass. An entire carcass was sitting there and I just plowed into it like a like a true talent of the racing world as we've come to know from from this series from Wreckfest. It really uh, it really exposes you, I guess. I don't know. Pretty fun though, and then I get dumped with the world's softest tab to send you around, and then that is absolutely disgusting to just get T-boned at that level. And I can't even get it spinned around without causing the huge one, and we're going completely the wrong way now. That is fan man, we're still getting okay guys, come on, that's enough. Look at the car. Oh my oh it, this is a wreck that's this is the long one. This is like the long one at Talladega from Talladega Nights. This is still happening. Can I drive it back? I'm gonna try not to reset if I don't have to, but I'm driving right into head on, head on into traffic here. Can I make the corner without getting hit? Oh, thank, oh no, no. Come on, man, I was so, come on, man. I... <laughs> well, I thought I had something there, but I did not. All right, attempt number four here. Just gonna try and survive. I'm gonna try that same thing where I just kind of play it cool on the inside here. I get shoved through the corner, but we survive. I'm just gonna try to not throw it away here in this corner. And oh, I thought maybe that green car, that green and orange one was gonna do it to us, but it did not. Can I throw it up the inside here? I'm gonna put the 24 in the wall. No, I didn't, but I get put in the wall. And guess who it was? Jody Ridley. Is Jody Ridley my new, my new rival? Has Cecil Gordon been tossed to the side? Is Jody Ridley the new one? I said a couple videos ago, I didn't even know who Jody Ridley was. Somebody very kindly gave me a, a history lesson in the comments. So I appreciate that. And uh, now it seems Jody Ridley has decided to make me pay uh, for my ignorance. And there is a car stuck in the worst spot. And thank you to the wagon that just shoved. That is a war wagon and that is karma right there. And we are going to thread the needle right there. Oh, that was that that's about as lucky. I keep saying that, but man, we're we're getting some lucky breaks here today. Hopefully we can actually use them to our advantage this time. That would be nice. And we have got a five second uh de deficit. Because I can speak the English language that I was born with. So five seconds out to Bobby Isaac, former NASCAR champion. I believe it was 1970. And that is a uh, hellacious hit right there for that war wagon. And that's the lead! That just gave us the lead. And that is maybe the most shocking thing I've seen today. <laughs> that we've somehow gotten the lead here at Hilltop Stadium. Because our luck has been so terrible. Especially in that first session that we did in the last McQueen Madness video. That to get any kind of lucky break that would gift us the lead is, is truly an astonishing feat. And we've got a second and a half over Kevin Harvick. Oh, that's no, and I, oh, I celebrated a little too early there. I thought I made it through there clean. And then the CRX pulled out on me there. So that's tough. We lose it. We, we just let Kevin Harvick reel us in by about a second right there as well. So that's, that's definitely tough. I'm going to get around these guys and get through the intersection clean there. We pulled out a little bit more on Harvick. So we're getting through here. We got Dale Earnhardt. The three is in third. Oh, and then he fell back immediately. Actually, I think he just got wrecked out because he just disappeared from the leaderboard. So uh, poor Dale Earnhardt. Can't ever catch a break, can he? 20 years of trying to win the Daytona 500. It's taken me 20 years of trying to win at the Hill Stop, the Hilltop Stadium figure eight race as Lightning McQueen. And, uh, oh, there's another big hit in the intersection. Can I get through this cleanly? Mind the gap. Oh, kind of. Yeah, well, it wasn't our cleanest endeavor, but we made it. And then Dale Earnhardt, he did live. That's poor wording, and I'm just getting absolutely owned now, aren't I? That's what I get. That's what I get. I said it last time, and there's still, and there goes Jim, Jimmy Olsen. I think Jimmy just got wrecked out from that as well. I don't know how we got through that. We did lose a spot, Ron Bouchard, who also is no stranger to getting owned in this in this Wreckfest series that we do. Still laugh at his, his uh, Hot Wheels crash that we had at the Hot Wheels track. Because man, he absolutely ate one of those like pillars. That thing was hilarious, but we lived. Somehow we lived. And now we gotta try and reel in Ron Bouchard and he's dropping a little, well, he was dropping a little bit there. Now he's going back up, which is the nature of the beast here. As we've only got a lap and a half left to go, so we really need to get it in gear and try to get Ron Bouchard before this thing winds down. 
He's so far out ahead. Is that him? Right? Ooh, man, that was a close one on the intersection there. Another one. Is this him right here? That is him right there. And I put him square in the wall. And I'm sure that's going to come back to bite me karma-wise. So let's see. Will I get nailed in this intersection? Because the racing gods shine upon me. And they and they frown. And then somebody else, I think, just took the beating for me. And that could do it. We got Tim Richmond up here in front of me. And I'm going to give him some space just so I don't crash and throw this thing away. I send it. Oh, I got close to that tire barrier. Please, Tim, don't distract. And we are going to do it. In only four attempts. I expected that to take way longer. But we got it done. Oh, finally. <laughs> well, there you go. I thought that was going to be a long session there, but it actually took us only about four attempts. And we got the fastest lap in all, so I'll take that one. That was a... That was a good race there. Finally, the cards kind of fell in our favor there, and we were able to get ourselves a victory. So I'll happily take that. And that'll pretty much do it for this video, guys. That is McQueen Madness. Finally, we uh, finished it up with a part two. Thank you guys for requesting that. And uh, that'll pretty much do it, like I said. So thank you again for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. All that kind of stuff helps me out, and it, of course, leads to making more fun videos like this one. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it. Because I know I have lately. And we're beginning to wind down on 2018. So we got a little ways to go. Happy holidays again as well. And uh, with that, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you again for watching. Peace.